With students and parents forced to deal with virtual schools because of the continuing pandemic, adjusting to online learning is going to take some time. Tonight, CBS 17 consumer investigator Steve Sprasha tells us how parents can help their kids learn better in this cyber world. Having a comfortable workspace, I think, is um, really important for the school year, but also you got to make it feel like school, so... Um, you can actually stay focused. Kaylin Milan is a sixth grader at Apex Middle School, but instead of learning in the classroom, she and thousands of others are learning virtually. Over here is the wall of like my schoolwork, like anything really important I need to see. Kaylin's pretty organized now, as are the schools, unlike back in March when the pandemic forced an unplanned move to virtual learning. It was really complicated at first. Because no one really knew how to get on Google class meetings. With school districts having the summer to prepare, things are smoother. Seems to be uh, structured pretty well right now, where like half of the class is like live instruction or perhaps videos or whatever. And then the other half, um, you know, the students have the opportunity to actually get their work done that they've been assigned for the day. Experts say consistency is the key. A posted schedule is important, but leave time for virtual learners to engage in after school activities. Virtual schools also include times for asynchronous learning where you could watch a video or complete a task on your own. Asynchronous makes it way more flexible because you can kind of get your classes done whenever you want. Allowing kids to do their asynchronous assignments in different locations can help break up the boredom and relieve the stress of being in one spot all day. How would you characterize the stress level now uh, as opposed to when you first started the virtual learning? Well, it's much easier when you um, get the in the groove of things, that's for sure. And though many of us are also working from home while the schooling is happening, it's important to give your kids some space. And for parents, you know, don't interfere too much, you know. Yeah. Let, let them, you know, work it out with their teachers. That's what they're there for. For all of us, this is going to be trial and error because it's all so brand new. It's going to take time for parents and kids to figure out what works best for them. And what works best for one family may not work best for another. It's going to vary. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasher.